There's two things that can suffocate the microbes in the compost row. One is ex excess water, the other is they can suffocate from too much CO2. They need oxygen to breathe. Uh, we monitor the rows daily initially and our turning is controlled by the monitoring results. In the end of this CO2 probe are three holes which will allow the CO2 gases to be sucked through so we penetrate down to an area that's in the center of the compost row and then with the, the level of fluid that's in there right low we're going to pump that about 16 times Now we invert it twice and by mixing the CO2 with that chemical that's in it, it will expand the pink liquid and when we have it expanded, you can see how it's coming up the tube in the middle, that will then give us the percentage of CO2 that is in the pile. Now this is taken before the turner has mixed it, it's a fairly stable pile so the reading is actually very good considering it hasn't been done and it's at the end of its turning life. The reading is up there about 14. Uh, early in the piece, uh, that reading will be from 20 to 26 percent of CO2 daily. And that indicates anything above 16, you must turn to release the CO2 and put the oxygen back into the pile so that your aerobes have got oxygen to breathe. Your aerobic bacteria uh, and fungi will need air, water and uh, a carbon and nitrogen source as well. And then we simply, in order to get rid of that, you simply depress the valve in the top and when the air gets into the tube in the centre, hey presto, it's gone back down again.